Hello and welcome. Now in this video what you're looking at here is you are looking at the very first reply to the WSO thread that this product creator has done and he's typed in the words reserved for FAQ and you're going to want to do the same thing and basically the FAQ is stands for frequently asked questions and what you want to try to do are a couple of things inside of your frequently asked questions you want to go to that first uh, that first reply make sure that you type in reserved for FAQ and some mar some marketers actually use the first two replies for them uh, you can do it however you want and when you do that that's what we're going to be talking about in this video how you want to structure your FAQ So when your WSO go, goes live, you are going to want to go to that reply, write in reserved for S F A Q, and make sure that when you're structuring your questions, you want to ask those questions that you anticipate warriors will ask you, and you want to anticipate those questions ahead of time. Now, what you also want to do, and this is part of marketing, and you want to do this in your sales copy, and you also want to do this um, in your WSO thread, you want to answer any potential objections in this section. So start thinking about well, what are the things that would keep a person from buying? And you want to address those objections in your FAQ. Now, that does not mean that you're not going to do it in your copy, but you want to reiterate it in the FAQ section. You want this FAQ section to really work on your behalf. What this does is it keeps you also from having to answer controversial questions in the thread when they can cause conflict. Now, as you know, when uh, there's conflict about your product inside of your thread, this can scare people off. It can keep people focused on the wrong thing. You want people focused on your sales copy. You want them focused on the testimonials. And so you don't want to have a discussion about something controversial when you can head it off in your FAQ section. So try to answer anything that a marketer might ask you about your product in your FAQ. Now it also keeps you from having uh, people purchase your product only to refund it later because it doesn't meet their expectations. A lot, many times people have very simple questions that sometimes we get to it in the sales copy and other times we don't. And so what you want to do is you want to make sure that people have all their questions. In the case, let's take a PLR for, for example. You want to make sure that you spell out the rights clearly in the FAQ section. If someone wants to buy a video product, you want to show what that video looks like in the FAQ section if you can. Make sure that you're doing everything you can to give the buyer as much information so that they will not uh, they will not uh, turn away from your product once they've already bought it and actually refund. Now your FAQ section doesn't need to be long. Uh, typically you're probably talking about five or six questions that you're going to be answering not a whole lot and it shouldn't be a long thread you want people reading your testimonials you want people reading your sales copy you don't want them to read a long list of qualifications that you're putting on your FAQ that's going to scare people off so try to try to find the the top five or six questions and answer those in the FAQ section Typically, what you can do is you can put a graphic there at the top of your section. Remember, um, you do it just like you would in the other uh, WSO thread. You can put a graphical uh, graphical image in there that says FAQ uh, and uh, to make it attractive. Uh, but again, once again, your FAQ section is, is part copy and is part information. And you want to use it as both because they can serve your purpose when you are creating a WSO. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.